All right. I want to go over something. See, you will be persecuted and slandered for the Lord's sake. You will be persecuted and slandered and for the Lord's sake. People will accuse you of thinking that you're better than everyone else. People will accuse you of thinking that you're holier than thou. People will people will accuse you of trying to stomp on them or and, and curse you out and say that you're trying to SHIT on them. When really they're speaking out of their own emotions. They're speaking out of their own emotions. Because they love their flesh. They live and they walk in the flesh and they don't walk in the spirit. They love the works of the flesh. And they would rather live in the works of the flesh and twist the scripture to their own destruction. Following after a false Christ. See in the book of in the book of uh, Philippians. The book of, of Philippians. This actually uh, talks about people like that there. Hold on, let me get it. This actually talks about people like that. Uh, Philippians chapter 3, verses 18 through 19. It says, For many walk, of whom I have told you. Often they walk. And now I'll tell you, even weeping, they walk. Not They not only walk, but they walk weeping. That they are the enemies of the cross of Christ, whose end is destruction, whose God is their own bellies, and whose glory is in their shame, who mind earthly things. So they walk, you know why they walk weeping? It's because deep down they know that what you're preaching on repentance is true, and deep down they know that what they're that they're living for their flesh and they're not and they're not living for the spirit. Deep down they know that in a sense you are better than them. Not not of what you've done for your on your own. You didn't make yourself better than them. God done the work through you. And they see that in you. They see that change in you. They can't deny that change. They see it in you. But because they're so jealous and, and it, it makes it, and it starts to manifest and the, these evil spirits and bitterness start to manifest in the spirit of jealousy. Instead of seeking God to help and to do the work in them themselves, they get mad at you and they manifest and, and gnash at you and weep at you. Whenever you tell them they need to repent of their sins, even though you've already repented of yours and you tell them to repent of their sins. And, the, and preach of the true uh, gospel of Christ. They weep at you and, and accuse you of preaching hate, accuse you of trying to put them down or speak negativity over them. The word of God is not negativity. The word of God is and and, and the word of God is not going to feel feel good to your flesh either. See. Here's the difference between Satan and God. Satan will make you feel good. It will make your flesh feel good. God will not make your flesh feel good. Satan will, will make you feel good in your sin. God will not make you feel good of your good good in your sin. The wrath of God, he, he will send his wrath upon you if you refuse to repent of your sins. The devil will tell you it's okay to live in your sins. He'll make you feel good in and, and, It'll feel good to you. And that's the difference between Satan and God. God's not going to tell you it's okay to live in your sin. The devil will. The devil is going to make you feel good and good, make your flesh feel good. Tell you, and tell you, oh, it's good to live in your flesh. God is going to tell you, no, you need to crucify your flesh daily. Constantly deny yourself and strive to enter the, into the kingdom or else you will not enter the kingdom. That's what God will tell you. Satan will tell you otherwise. Oh no, you will not surely die if you eat it, if you eat of the fruit of this wickedness. If you eat the fruit of this wicked tree, you will not surely die. But God says, yeah, you surely will die in your sin, and you surely will go to hell if you do not repent. You will likewise perish and, and fade away. That that fig tree will surely fade away and be cast into the fire. That's that's the difference between. 
the loving God and the devil. See, the world's view of what love is is actually the devil's view of what love is. God's view of what love is will not make you feel good and will not make your flesh feel good to you. See, the spirit goes against the flesh and the flesh goes against the spirit. So, if I gave you any impression that I, 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 just, I want you to uh, perish, I want you to go, to go to hell, then you're getting the wrong impression. And you would think the same thing of Jesus when he told you that you will perish if you don't repent. No. If I, if I wanted you to perish and I wanted you to go to hell, and I just wanted to speak any, any type of thing over you, or if I just wanted to put you down, I wouldn't make these, I wouldn't make these videos. I'll just let you perish in your sins. I don't just make YouTube videos. God told me to make this video. I didn't just up and up one day and, and chose to, hey, make these YouTube videos. God told me to make them. God put his words in my mouth. And I'm and God is the one speaking through me right now. It's God speaking through me. Am I God? No. If you were leaning if if, if you weren't leaning on your own own understanding, you would know what I'm getting at. And no, and some people will say, well, God speaks through everybody. No, he doesn't. Not God, uh, Jesus doesn't live through everybody. Only those who don't live live for their flesh, Jesus lives in. Only those who are willing to receive Jesus and actually do His will, Jesus lives in them. See, Jesus says they confess me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Confess me with their lips, but the heart is far from me. Why is their heart far from Him? Because they refuse to do his will. They refuse to stop living at the flesh and walking in their flesh. Witchcraft, adultery, sexual immorality. They don't know the difference between willful sin and non-willful sin. See, Jesus says that you are to hate what God hates and love what God loves. But what does what does God hate? God hates adultery. God hates fornication. God hates homosexuality. God hates being intoxicated. He hates weed smoke. He hates marijuana. He hates getting drunk. He he hates uh, drunkenness. He hates witchcraft. He hates a loud and rebellious woman. He hates a whoremonger. He hates a blasphemer, triple God worshiper. He hates an idolater. He hates the proud. He hates the stiff necked. He hates the person that can't control their tongue and has a bunch of filthy filthy words coming out of their mouth every, uh, every sentence. Don't know how to control their tongue. Don't even have a filter. He hates people like that, just like he hated Esau. He hates people that come against preachers like me and tell me to stop telling me I need to repent of my sin, preacher. Do you think you're better than me? No, I don't think I'm better than you. I'm nothing without Christ. I'm just a worm without Christ. I'm just a filthy rag without Christ as he that works the righteousness through me. It's nothing I've done in myself. I don't rely on the righteousness of the law. I, I, I let God work that, work that righteousness of the law through me. I don't do it of myself. That's what people don't understand because they walk in their, they walk in their flesh rather than after the spirit. So they don't understand these things. If you are walking in the Spirit, you will know that Jesus Jesus Christ is not a trinity if you truly had the Holy Spirit residing in you. See, anyone can cast out devils in his name. That doesn't, that doesn't guarantee that you're completely doing his will. That doesn't mean you're going to go to heaven just because you're casting out devils in his name. That's only a sign of, of, a true belie of someone who believes that Jesus Christ is Lord. 
that doesn't mean they're completely doing his will. So no, I don't preach hate. No, I don't think I'm better than everyone. But in a sense, God has made me better than you if you're still walking out to the flesh and I'm walking out to the spirit in which I am. So and and some some may say, well, why are you why are you angry? Why are you acting all angry? And they'll try the accuser of the brethren will try to jump in and try to use, use this righteous anger uh, against me to try to justify their sins. I'm angry because God told me to hate what He hates and love what He loves. It's I'm not angry. It's God angry through me. And the thing is, I will not let the sun go down on my anger and let it cause me to sin. Praise God. Praise God. See, there's a difference between righteous anger and a sinning anger. Some something that calls you to rage and just go off on, on go off and throw stuff, cuss, slant, slander, and everything else. That's not what I'm doing, Emma. You don't see a cuss word come out of my mouth. You don't see you don't see any cuss cursing come out of my mouth, do you? Because I don't have to use a cur curse word to get my point across. I don't have to say a cuss word to get my point across. I don't have to have filthy mouth, filthy uh, language come out of my mouth just to get a point across. Now that's the good fruit working in me. Is it something I'm doing on myself? No, I used to not. It used to be a habit of me cussing, but because I let Jesus do the works through me, you don't see cuss words coming out of my mouth. It's called righteous anger. Is it possible to? From, for a righteous anger to become a sinful anger, yes, but I'm not letting that happen because I'm walking in the spirit and not after the flesh. Praise God. So if you're one of those that are accusing me of preaching bitterness and not happiness, look, you're not you're not going to be happy in heaven if, if you're trying to walk in your walk in your sin and walk after your flesh. And then you then you die and you die walking in your flesh, and then make it to heaven and and you and 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 you say unto Jesus, "What well, didn't I confess that you were a Lord, Jesus? Didn't I believe that you were a Lord? Didn't I believe that you died for my sins?" And and, and he will say, "Well, why did why did you continue to still walk in your sin? Why did you continue to walk after the flesh? Why did you continue to take advantage of my sacrifice? Depart from me, you worker of iniquity." Well, what is a work of iniquity? It's the worker. It's someone who works, works after the flesh. Someone who's living in their sin. That's the works of iniquity. Iniquity is lawlessness. So if Jesus completely filled the whole law, why, why would he say that we need to allow him to do the works of the law through us? Why would he say that we should not live in our sin? Exactly. See, works of iniquity is someone who is living in sin. A worker of iniquity is someone who is living in their sins. And Jesus says, depart from me, you worker of sin, worker of lawlessness. And then they'll, then they'll also try to say, well, why can't you just donate money to charity? Well, that's, that's following after uh, works-based salvation right there. That's self-righteousness. You're trying to get into heaven and get into heaven and straddle the fence. You're trying to live in your sin, but at the same time trying to buy your way into heaven by feeding feeding the homeless or giving to charity. But at the same time, although you're giving the charity, you're not repenting of your sins. You're not you're not bearing good fruit. See, even a Satanist can give the charity, but that doesn't make them a true true believer of Christ. Yes, I, I give to charity. I donate. I, yeah, I donate. I give to charity. All glory goes to God. I don't need the glory. I don't want the glo I don't want your glory because God will lift me up. God will glorify me. I don't have to glorify myself because God Himself will glorify me. God and Himself will magnify me. I don't have to magnify myself. I would rather God do that for me. But although you're given the charity, although you're doing those good, good, wonderful works, good, wonderful deeds, you still have to repent of your sins. 
and stop slandering uh, true brothers and sisters of Christ, to, uh, trying to accuse them of trying to be better than you and holier than thou. No. I'm a bad man without Christ. I'm a bad person without Christ. I'm not a good person without him. And if I'm living in my sin, I'm definitely a bad person. If I'm living in my sin and I, and I refuse to die to myself and crucify my flesh, I'm a bad person. I'm not a good person. Jesus has strived into the, into the kingdom. For many, I say, will seek to enter but will not be able. Why? Because they're living in their sins. That's why. And they refuse to go and share the gospel, and share the truth, this truth, and they, and they keep it to themselves. There's many, many uh, things that can keep you out of the kingdom. Yeah, you may not be living in your sin, but there's other things that can keep you out of the kingdom as well. Are you being lazy? Are you a lazy servant? Are you a lazy servant? Or are you actually out there casting out devils and praying over people and killing the sick and all this other type of stuff and actually proclaiming this this truth. Overcome any Don't don't let don't let don't let these pe uh, people that persecute you cause you to be bitter. Overcome that spirit of bitter bitterness that they're that they're causing to to come upon you. No, you're not preaching hate. You actually love them by warning them of the truth, regardless that they hate you and persecute you. Then they'll say, well, they're... Part of that other clip went silent. The devil interfered. <clears throat> See, the uh, devil, devil is hindering, trying to hinder me from getting the truth out. <clears throat> Just like he tried to hinder the apostles of old. Um. So the part to where I, what I was trying to share. Um. Before the sound went out, I was, I was trying to uh, ba basically. They say, well, why are you trying to make, why are you trying to tempt me to be angry, preacher? Why are you trying to, why are you making me angry? I'm, I'm not angry at God. at God. I'm angry at you because you're telling me I need to repent and turn away from my sins. No, well, if you're angry at me for telling you you need to repent and turn away from your sins, then you're angry at God too. Because the words I'm speaking is not my words, but is God's words. Jesus says, unless you repent of your sins, you will go to hell. Is that preaching hate? Is that preaching hate? No, it's not preaching hate. If I'm preaching hate, God was preaching hate. God is preaching hate too. Because I and God agree in one. Me and God agree in one. We agree in one. We both agree to, agree together. My spirit agrees with the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit agrees with my spirit on what I'm saying when I preach repentance. So, the scripture says that, don't say that when you're tempted, you're tempted of God. Now, what does I mean by that? See, and whenever you go, and whenever you go to the next verse, it says that, Except when you're tempted, you're tempting, you're you know, tempted because you're drawn away at your own lust. It's not God. It's not God tempting you. Whenever someone ever, uh, someone or what, 
whenever uh, he is uh, telling you that you need to repent or else you will perish. It's the devil that's your own flesh tempting you to do what you're doing. It's not God. So when, a, when God sends a preacher your way to tell you, hey, repent of your sins or else you will go to hell. And then you get angry with that preacher, with the messenger, and you just assault the messenger, kill the messenger. You didn't kill the messenger because you're angry with the messenger. You didn't cuss the messenger out and say a bunch of cuss words against that messenger. Saying, F you, you mother effer. You can't tell me what I need to do and what I cannot do. And then you're actually telling God that. You're saying, F you, God. You can't tell me what I need to do, God. That's basically what you're saying. Because when you're cussing me out, you're also cussing God out. When you reject me for preaching repentance to you, you're also rejecting God for preaching repentance to you. So that's the point. That's that's uh, the part I was trying to share when the devil tried to hinder hinder what I was trying to say. So go in peace, brothers and sisters.